place has a picture that we're very excited about. It's about fame and what Hollywood does to people. I am not just a star. I am a star maker. I play Henry Wilson, who was an agent slash sort of one of the first managers before that was much of a job. He kind of helped create the title that is now a manager. And uh, he was from the East Coast and he was part of the big swath of people that started moving West when, when the Broadway actors and writers are like, oh, we can go make some movies and TV too. And Hollywood was starting. Um, he had a special ability, Henry did, to pick sort of these milky white, salt of the earth, bigger boys that he sculpted into the kind of pinup guys like a Rock Hudson or a Tab Hunter that were um, a very typical male, I guess you would say, look for the time. It was kind of his own little factory in his, in, in a way. Um, and there's something kind of shallow about that in one hand, but he was very, uh, he worked very hard at it. And he put a lot of money and effort into making sure these guys had the, the right teeth and the right look and the get them acting lessons and all sorts of things. Um, he, was, he was gay. And this was certainly an era where even being behind the camera uh, was not widely accepted and wasn't something you did out loud, as it were. Related to that or not, he uh, made some really um, disgusting demands on some of his clients and asks and requests of them. And he was he had a, he had his slimy side, to say the least. Um, and. Uh, but he had great success with some of his clients like Rock Hudson until he didn't. And most of his clients got rid of him. They're like, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. He wasn't well received in the industry anymore. And uh, he died penniless and alone. <laughs> so that was his life. We give him a better ending, um, both for him and for the world. But, uh, but the, the real thing did not end pretty for him. <laughs>